But what is good everybody welcome back to another minimal mondays for today's video as you probably already read in the title description or the thumbnail we're going to be taking a look at the soon to release jordan one black toe low now these shoes are set to release in mid july if you wanted to see a full review video on these sneakers go ahead and hit the link in the description or at the top of the screen but for the purposes of today's video we are going to take it from the angle of styling them with a few different pieces from our website similarly to what we've done in the past all of the pieces used in today's styling video can be found in the links down below with all of that being said let's go ahead and jump right into outfit number one for this first outfit i did decide to go ahead and dress up a little on the warmer side simply due to the fact that here in southern california we've been experiencing quite a bit of june gloom for that reason i did decide to go with an outerwear piece and this is none other than the vintage work jacket the vintage work jacket is designed with a relaxed fit, two-way zipper closure with snap closure at the wrist, patchwork pockets on the front, and is constructed from a vintage washed twill shell. That twill shell is complemented by a faux leather collar. It is finished with a quilted nylon lining. For the vintage work jacket, I did decide to go true to size, which is a size medium reference i'm approximately 5'7 and weigh 165 pounds the bottoms are a brand new segment into our denim lineup and these are the everyday straight leg denim as indicated in its nomenclature these do fit relaxed to the thigh and finish pretty straight to the ankle this color in particular is what's known as vintage wash black and i find that is very complementary to pretty much any style of top you throw at them. Again, with this piece, I did take my true to size size, which is a 30. They fit great. Just a very, very versatile pair of denim. Doesn't do too much. Doesn't do too little as it does have a nice wash out front, capable of being worn for any style of outfit. Moving on to outfit number two, as I've kind of already mentioned, it is on the cooler side on this day of filming. So for that reason, I did decide to go with the corduroy work pant. This pant is so excellent as it does fit relax all the way through, but is comprised of a really soft and dense quality corduroy, which enables you to have a bit of flowiness while maintaining a nice level of insulation. They do fit relax all the way throughout from the thigh all the way down to the ankle, which does kind of give you that slightly covered sneaker look, which as many of you guys know, has been very, very trendy as of late same story here even though they're a relaxed pant i did go true to size with a size 30 they fit great as intended for the top i did decide to layer a thermal with a sample garment from the brand locust and wild honey if you guys don't know uh, that is my brand in collaboration with the team over at minimal this is a piece i'm very excited to drop because it is a summer variant super flowy very comfortable and is set to release in july so stay tuned on that and finally moving on to the third and final outfit i did have to go ahead and add a pair of shorts to this outfit lineup despite the current climate and this pair of shorts is what is known as the paisley knit shorts probably one of the most unique shorts in our shorts lineup this pair is comprised of a very very nicely put together knit fabric. I think you guys will really love this. It has a good level of breathability while maintaining good structure and weight. It's got the detail aesthetic of the Paisley print that goes all the way through the shorts, making this pair of shorts a statement for anybody's wardrobe. Now, due to the nature of the design being on the louder side, I went simple for the top, and this is the Everyday Crew Neck, which is currently marked down on sale. It does fit oversized. Here, I'm wearing a size medium, my true to size size, but as you can see, there's quite a bit of room in this piece. So if you want a more truer fitting crew neck, go ahead and consider it sizing down, but I definitely look at measurements on the website before 
checkout. With all of that being said, that is going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section down below regarding what you think about the soon to release Black Toe Jordan 1 Low. This has been a very, very highly celebrated silhouette through the years, regardless of if it was a high, low, or mid. This is the OG version, so I don't anticipate people really getting excited for when these officially release. A very wearable shoe overall, and I do see this shoe being a great summer option. Now, if you did enjoy today's video, please consider liking today's video and subscribing to our channel with notifications on. I will be doing a part two of styling these shoes since we do have a bit of time and for the purposes of hopefully serving you, making a bit of an educated decision on whether or not this shoe will do well in your personal wardrobe. So make sure to stay locked on the channel. With that, thank you so much for stopping by today's Minimal Mondays. I'll catch you in the next upload next Monday for another Minimal Monday.